We are here in Ladakh in northern India. This is a high altitude desert region nestled between the Greater Himalayan Range and the Karakoram Mountain Range. We are here to study how climate change is affecting the future sustainability of farming and agriculture in the area. With a summer just three to four months long and this region being so heavily dependent on agriculture, any changes to climate could have potentially drastic consequences for the farmers living and working in this arid landscape. Throughout our time here, we hope to conduct interviews, complete questionnaires and generally immerse ourselves in the Ladakhi way of life to build up a full picture of the impacts of climate change in this area. So traditionally, the crops grown here have been the foundations of the local diet, which has been wheat, barley, apples and apricots. There's also been cattle reared, such as the cows, which have been for dairy products, and the donkeys for load carrying. So the farms here are fed from a variety of different sources. You've got the mighty Indus River, as well as groundwater springs and glacial meltwater streams. These are carried to the farms using these irrigation channels, and the communities work incredibly hard to share the resources equally between themselves. Previous research has shown that Ladakh's physical landscape is changing drastically due to climate change. Since the 1980s, average annual temperatures have risen by over 2 degrees Celsius, and this has caused snowfall to gradually decrease and for 14% of Ladakh's glaciers to be lost. With this in mind, we set off to visit some remote villages in order to see how local people and subsistence agriculture in the region were being impacted by these changes. In the village of Umla, we learned of the issue of water scarcity. We spoke to villagers with our translator as they met to discuss harvesting their crops early as their meltwater streams were beginning to dry up. They say because of this uneven snowfall and the rainfall and the, uh, the amount of snowfall that they used to have before, yeah. it's not anymore. Okay. So because of that, the streams, the well, the ponds, they all dried up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that really affected the agriculture, yeah. the crops and everything. Okay. Yeah. The snowfall and the rainfall, uh, the main source of water, uh, they don't get to see much snowfall as they used to see. Uh -huh. Earlier, uh, it was uh, it was all right for them if they you know watered the fields in like 15 or 16 days okay. but this time they have to water the fields in you know a lesser duration okay okay so i think the main theme that has come out of talking to the people in this village is water scarcity and everything comes down to the fact that with no water they can't actually do anything we then traveled to nang village which was recovering from severe flash flooding that occurred in 2015 because last year was, uh, you know, everything was, every road, every field was like destructive yeah. with this uh, floods. Yeah. Last year was so destructive that uh, her field was like covered with everything and really? she was crying for many days. Yeah. Because agriculture is the main thing, yeah. people yeah. relied on this, right? Yeah. So, and this is the only main source of income for them. So I think the main takeaway point after exploring the village of Nang today and speaking to the villagers here has been the changes as a result of unseasonal flash floods both recently and as far back as 2010. You can see the debris all around me that has been caused by these flash floods. As we explored Ladakh, we also heard of some isolated positive impacts of climate change. Due to the rising temperature, a greater crop variety can now be seen at higher altitudes. Earlier, the people cannot imagine like any apples or apricot will grow here. This is the big example of rising temperature, uh -huh. that the temperature is rising so much that um, it's, uh, you know, the land becomes so fertile that it can like grow apples and apricot here. Through these interviews, we were able to gain an insight into a very complex issue. Over the last hundred years, there have been many positive and negative changes to agriculture here in Ladakh. From speaking to just a few people, we can see a story starting to emerge. Everybody we speak to mentions the rising temperatures here. And on one hand, this means that more temperate crops can now be grown in the area. But on the other hand, it means that the water needed to cultivate them is no longer readily available. The vulnerability of a village to this water scarcity will heavily depend on where the village is situated. Here in low-lying areas around the Indus Valley floodplain, water scarcity is still an issue. However, there are far more opportunities to get water for farming through getting water from the river itself and through groundwater springs. Whereas here in mountain villages, where the water is completely glacial meltwater, the people face a much greater issue and have big water shortages. While some villages were more adversely impacted by climate change than others, we were told of difficulties in farming due to glacier loss and water shortages throughout the region, and people appeared very concerned about the future sustainability of agriculture in Ladakh. There is however one innovative lifeline for Ladakhi farmers. 
Chowang Norfol, a local engineer, has adapted a traditional technique of artificial glaciers to mitigate against climate change. His method involves building brick dams upstream from villages and damming them in early November. Over winter this water freezes and in spring it periodically melts to provide water for irrigation. In Ladakh, we met with Mr Norfol to hear his perspective on the issue itself. And in what ways does the artificial glacier benefit the local people living here? As I told you, they are getting uh, water and then spring at the same time. Yeah. This is another benefit because of it's recharging the groundwater. You know? Okay. Yeah. When groundwater really recharges, naturally the spring exists in the yeah. village. It is clear that these artificial glaciers are currently very effective. However, as they rely on snow and ice melt, and with further temperature increase projected in the coming years, their long-term sustainability is uncertain. These impacts came together with other issues to act as one of many push factors driving people away from agriculture. Firstly, this was seen in tourism. As a high altitude desert, Ladakh of course already faces water-related pressures. With over 3,000 guest houses and hotels, these resources are being strained. And with the changes in climate projected, this will leave even less water for an already struggling farming sector. Secondly, this was seen in the international opportunities now available to Ladakhi young people. Nowadays, the younger generation have many opportunities available to them outside of agriculture, and industries such as tourism and the military offer much more money. There is also a big drive for young people to get highly educated and to travel to places like New Delhi and Europe for their studies. With climate change making cash crop agriculture increasingly difficult, we get the impression that there are many factors driving young people away from farming, and the result is that fields like this are left bare and uncultivated. Overall, this research brought to light the concerns Ladakhi people have to do with climate change. There used to be a huge amount of snowfall. During winter, there is no snow. Then we, we used to it's have not the same anymore. Glacier. There is a shortage of yeah, water. It is completely vanished. There is a lot of pest attacks started. I, I feel it is endangered. Looking back at our research, the most striking impact people have mentioned is the water shortages and the difficulty of irrigating their crops at the right time of year. From the older generations, we've heard of noticeable temperature increase, contributing to new pests and harder physical labour in the fields. We have also discovered the positive impact of climate change here. Many new temperate crops can now be grown, and there have been some incredible mitigation strategies set up in the area. Projects such as artificial glaciers offer a potential solution for the foreseeable future. And given the right investments, communities can let their true resilience show. However, with glaciers retreating each year, the long-term future of water scarcity in agriculture here looks uncertain. From spending time out here in the Himalayas, it's clear we need to think globally about our actions. Ladakh, being a remote mountain community, really is on the front line of climate change. And although it's halfway across the world from us in the UK, we are facing this issue together. So to find a way to live sustainably with our environment, we truly need to come together to act as global citizens. If the issues raised in this film have inspired you to take action on climate change, we encourage you to pledge a behavioural change yourself. This can be done through taking part in our Do Nation campaign by following the link below.